Hello and welcome to Innate Wisdom. My name is Agnes. I'm an intuitive and a tarot card reader. I do general love readings for the collective and also for each zodiac sign bi-weekly. If you like my videos, please support my work by pressing the thumbs up and by subscribing to my channel. Remember that these are general readings and the messages may not resonate for all of you. So in this pick a card reading, I'll be exploring the topic of what your person would want you to know right now. We'll check out their current feelings for you, their possible future actions, and also we'll see the next stage in this relationship. So join me if these are of interest to you. And whenever you picked your deck, you can actually pick more than one. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Then you'll find the timestamps in the description below. So if you pick the left side deck, this is going to be your reading and let's get to it. Let's see what your person would want you to know right now. Let's see what would they want you to know right now, the person on your mind. The Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So they are really um, feeling the sadness from the loss. Maybe you are after a breakup, but if it, even if it's not a breakup, it's definitely some kind of a conflict that separates the two of you. I just feel like these pulling forces are acting up on you too. And um, it's something that they're really feeling badly about. They're, they're not feeling good right now. Uh, the Page of Swords is indicating that they want to talk to you. Maybe they're going to be messaging you as well. I hear the word clarity. They might realize something about the relationship, perhaps that there was a misunderstanding or maybe they didn't communicate what they wanted to communicate with you clearly. And um, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is indicating that the energies are going to be shifting between the two of you for the better. The Wheel of Fortune brings a uh, fast, quick-paced um, progression if you to trust the opportunities so there's going to be opportunities for you to connect and uh, whether you do or not that's uh, a different question but there's going to be opportunities here for the reconnection so your person is not doing all that well right now that's what they want you to know so let's check out their feelings for you let's see how they feel about you right now how do they feel about you? What are their true feelings for you? The Ten of Wands. The Strength. And the Knight of Wands. So um, I feel like they're holding back. They kind of keep their hearts closed for now uh, due to fears. And I do feel that there are heavy burdens on them. They don't feel like they're free to do whatever they want. However, they feel lots of passion for you. They're not neutral at all towards you. And it's perhaps if you two are after a breakup, uh, but even if it's not a breakup, that the conflicts are due to these burdens that the person is having. And uh, I feel like partly the burdens are their fears uh, that keep them closed off. Uh, I'm hearing also closed off to new opportunities and also they're keeping their hearts closed uh, from emotions. Um, <clears throat> the Knight of Wands is indicative of uh, the type of character who is very enthusiastic, full of fire, full of passion. And I feel like they're going to be um, coming back into your life very fast. Uh, they just cannot keep their distance from you. That's what I'm feeling. So let's see what these burdens are all about. What is this person fearful of? What is it that burdens them? What is it that um, is weighing heavily on them right now? Why do they need to keep their, their hearts closed? We have the King of Pentacles. So I do feel that they are set in their ways. Maybe it's the comfort zone that's... Uh, uh, giving them sort of like a false sense of security because in a way, yes, it's stable. Yes, it's secure. On the other hand, it's kind of too rigid for them to feel free within and uh, it might be too limiting for them. But I also feel like your person is kind of resisting change. They're kind of um, 
they have a difficulty giving up their ways. That's what I feel, that they're, they're too much into their routines. Um, let's see what else is a burden. And I feel like for some of your people, it's about money as well. Money, um, wealth. Let's see what else is going on. What else can we know about these burdens? Uh, the Queen of Wands. So now we have two court cards. So is it possible that this is a love triangle and that's possibly presenting a burden here? Because <clears throat> if it is, I just feel like um, your person and the other person, their other partner, or if it's all, you know, the third party, I don't, I don't know who's who that's watching this reading right now, but um, you and that other person are not really on the same wavelength. They're not really understanding each other. They're not a good pair. Maybe uh, they were some time ago, but right now they're kind of drifting apart. That's the information that I'm getting right now. Let's see on uh, the Love Oracle cards. Let's see what they have to say about your person. What's going on with them? What's going on with your person? Addiction. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Yes, that's, that's exactly what I was picking up from your person. They are too restricted. They're too strict with themselves. And it also could be that they're in a codependent relationship, if that's the situation that your person is in. And if it's not a love triangle, if you know that for sure, then the person has trouble letting go, has trouble around um, <clears throat> letting go of control, perhaps and, uh, and uh, giving their hearts over to emotions because they're fearing losing control. So let's see what else can we find out about your person. The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder and the other woman. So I do feel that in many cases there is that other woman or another person. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, but um, there is someone else who is influencing your person. And I feel like that has an indirect effect on your, or even a direct effect on your relationship with this person that you're thinking about. So let's see now their uh, future steps towards you. Let's see their future steps towards you. Uh, the King of Swords, we have the Fool, and Ten of Pentacles. So, even though your person really wants to come close to you, I feel like they really do want that. On the other hand, they, it's, it's like they're fighting with their own egos. It's like they're fighting with their minds, their heart over mind matter. It's like um, uh, the, the new beginning with you is there in the air. It's, it's in the air. Whether your person is able to take advantage of this new opportunity is a different question because I do feel that they like their stability, they like their money, they like, they like their foundations, even though this life that they have set up is not no longer serving their purpose, it's completely, I feel that it's emotionless. And uh, the King of Swords is about being rational, intellectual, too much logics involved, like too little heart involved. Um, perhaps the addiction card here, the little uh, love oracle card that had the word addiction, I'm also sensing here that there's an addiction to control, there's an addiction to money even, or some, some kind of an addiction to wealth obsession with money perhaps even so whatever it is but your person seems to be retracting back into the mind and uh, closing off closing the tap to emotions so whether this full energy here is about um, them going back into their old lives and giving that a new chance or giving you another chance I don't know but um, they have to connect with this energy in order for that to work. 
So this is, this is what their future steps are telling us. So let's see now, where is this relationship between the two of you headed? Let's see the relationship between the two of you. Maybe this full card is for the two of you. However, the person is too much up in their heads. So, um, yeah, okay, five of cups we have and the two of ones. So unless your person can um, make a decision, can actually pick which way, which way they want to head in their lives, which direction they really want to put their energies into, I feel like there's going to be disappointment here they might end up disappointing you and them as well because this five of cups is also their energy. It's, it's, this is something that they feel very heavily and they are burdened by that. It's not just that you are disappointed, it's them too. So, and, and the two of ones, I do feel that they have the opportunity to make a choice. Now, which way they make that choice, you know, there is free will um, and uh, they are free to use their free will. So you'll see how this pans out. Um, but based on these cards here, I just feel like your person is not yet ready to make that, that leap of faith, not ready to make that step uh, away from their current situation, from their comfort zone. And the comfort zone seems to be a pretty um, uh, much a, a key, key phrase here uh, for this situation. Okay, so this is what I have for you. And let's see some Oracle cards now. Let's um, use the Angels of Atlantis. And um, these cards, you know, they have such beautiful images on them. I just feel like they have a healing energy. So if you like these images, feel free to pause the video for as long as you want to um, focus on these. Let's see what the messages are, what the advice is. Uh, mercy. And transmutation. Uh, I do feel like these two messages are saying that mercy can help transmute these heavy energies here. If you um, think gently about your own situation and about your person's situation. And I do feel for some reason that there is some... Uh, heavy energies from either karma here or um, from family matrix energies, perhaps even past lives um, that need to be transmuted and um, that are in your energy field here, whoever is viewing this uh, reading. And uh, because if you are attracting such a, such a love situation or a situation with your relationship, it means that you too have blocks that are worthy to, to uh, pay attention to. Perhaps you can heal something within yourself and in turn, the whole situation might start shifting in your uh, favor. Okay, so this was the reading for the left side and I'm going to get started with the middle deck in a moment. So if you pick the middle deck, this is going to be your reading and let's get to it. Let's see what your person would want you to know right now. Let's see what they want you to know, the person that you're thinking about, what would they want you to know right now about their situation or about what they think of this situation, how they feel right now. The chariot, four of wands, and the nine of swords. So your person, I feel like, you know, they might be a little bit indecisive as indicated by the chariot card. The chariot actually presents a lot of energy if one knows what direction they're headed. And right now, it's almost like your person is a little bit torn apart with the decisions, with the choices. However, they really feel strongly about you. They might feel like you're a twin flame or a soulmate as uh, the four of ones card uh, tells us here. The Four of Wands is about great stability. It's a great connection, something that has the potential of becoming very stable with a happy future, a happy home, ha happy family life. And uh, it's typically a very, very positive card. However, your person is up in the head about something. There is an issue that really bothers them. 
and it's it could be like a thought that they just cannot let go of it could be possibly the sleepless nights um, energy something that gives them great anxiety great nervous energy like um, very much tension up in their heads they're closing their hearts to the solutions it's almost like they're just really trying to use their mental energy their mental capacity to find a solution to something and they're closing their hearts to uh, inspiration or to find a solution from the heart it's almost like they're closing off their hearts to guidance from the universe uh, they, this is something that they want to solve on their own and they don't have trust at this point in the universe or that there is support for them. They feel that there's a lack of support here. Okay, and it feels like this relationship right now between the two of you is not is not going, uh, um, how do I say, like it doesn't have a whole lot of energy. It doesn't have a whole lot of forward movement because of this uh, sense of indecisiveness within your person despite of how they really feel about you because they feel this great stability this great potential for the two of you but it's almost like they're paralyzed by fear by anxiety by i'm hearing the word consequences they're fearing consequences so um let's see now their current feelings for you let's see what else can we find out about how they feel about you their current feelings for you. Uh, we have the Emperor. The Ace of Cups. And the Magician. So they um, they might actually start connecting in with their hearts because this Eight of Cups is about inspiration. It's, it's finding that inspiration, finding that spot within themselves opening their hearts to the possibilities of miracles even um, however the emperor energy uh, is coming through as though they may be wanting to control the situation too much it's like they don't want to uh, trust the universe with anything they want to figure out anything on their own and um, the emperor card in some cases in some of your people's cases could indicate that they are feeling like they're being controlled by someone else or by something else in their environment. Now, this could be finances, it could be a person, it could be work, um, their careers, it could be um, something that's demanding their attention, that's demanding their presence, and uh, heart matters could go in the background in the presence of uh, such an energy. But I, I feel like they, they have lots of love for you for sure and they want this to work and the, the magician card also indicates that they have faith um, and I feel like this is almost like a development from this mental energy here the mental tension that was um, brought in by this nine of swords energy this is almost like a progression towards finding their faith and actually doing step you're taking steps towards making this relationship happen with you this is like a newfound faith that they finally uh, realize within themselves or they start to trust the universe or they, they start to do, just trust the process. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling about their current feelings. This is what's coming through. Let's see um, what else can we find out about your person through the Love Oracle cards. What can we find out about your person? From these love oracle cards let's see one more shuffle I feel and we have the dragon oh we have actually two cards the dragonfly and abundance so the dragonfly first be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal so yeah, I feel like this progression happens because they realize something that's important to them. They realize how they want their lives to go on. Um, and uh, I do feel that there's going to be changes involved here uh, and change is going to bring about healing. Healing of the relationship, healing of your person, you too. Um, and ab abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss and i just feel right now 
that the word gratitude is like super important for some reason in this reading because um, I'm hearing that gratitude helps you manifest what you want. Gratitude brings about more of those things that you are grateful for, thankful for. So it's very important to just uh, take a minute every day and give thanks for what you are grateful for because it does help you manifest. Let's see their future actions towards you. What are their future actions? King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. Wow, so we have three court cards, no less. Um, this is interesting because <laughs> it could it could say it could talk about two things first of all that your person is showing you this many faces okay so sometimes they're reserved and practical and good with their money focusing on their careers and very rigid and resistant to change and set in their ways and very traditional and uh, you know uh, all about security and feeling safe uh, now the knight of wands is all about passion and fire and uh, enthusiasm and then they might be galloping into your life and you know being very enthusiastic but they're not ready to um, settle the king of pentacles is very settled you know as opposed to this character the knight of wands is not settled and the queen of swords um is a thinker someone who is uh, up in the head and some someone who is um you know very intelligent and very much uh assertive they they do say what's on their minds and are honest uh, honest talkers um however i'm feeling that your person is being influenced here by someone this like i have more the feeling that this is not all about your person and their different sides i think more that this is about people around your person who are influencing your person. So um, there could be um, a, you know, a third party. I have to say it the way it is. Um, yeah, there, there could be a third party. It could be that uh, lack of decision that your person is faced with. Maybe that's what they cannot make the decision about, whether they should leave their current situation, leave their current partner um, and be with you or uh, leave the love triangle situation and just settle down with you. Yeah, this is what's coming right now. That's very strongly what I'm, I'm hearing here. So let's see how this relationship is going to um, evolve. What is the next stage in this relationship? What can be expected here as a next step? Of course, the energies are constantly shifting and changing, so nothing is set in stone. Okay, the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Again, a court card. So uh, right now from the Knight of Swords energy, I just feel like your person is doing exactly what this uh, Knight of Swords is doing on this picture. is basically running away from the conflict, running away um, from... Um, I hear also new opportunities. They're leaving their emotions behind. It's almost like they're being controlled by their fears very much by their fears and afraid to stand up for their um, own truth for what's in their hearts uh, the knight of swords is also a character who is not very dependable they might change their minds very frequently um, they might have a lot of ideas that cannot be followed through or um, this person could also be in and out of your life so this is like a next stage in the relationship i just feel like there's going to be more distance between the two of you um, um, distance and maybe this person might be giving you the cold shoulder and could be um, cold in their communications and appear to be leaving the emotional um, situation behind you know in a, in a way I just feel like you are there for them and that makes them comfortable 
that the fact that you are there, that they know that you are there, that whenever they come back suddenly that you're still there and you still have these emotions here. It's almost like they can reconnect with you at that time. But it's almost like they have you on a string and whenever that they pull that string, it's like you, they can, they can get a, a reaction out of you. So this is the basic dynamics that I'm feeling here. And um, yeah, so let's see some Oracle cards energies uh, for now. Let's see um, what they want you to know or what is the guidance from the angels for this situation. What's the guidance from the angels? You know, and the energies will change. It's not gonna last like this forever. Oh, we have courage and earth force. So I, yeah, I just feel like, you know, earth force is lacking from this relationship because this relationship just doesn't feel grounded right now. It just feels like it's very airy. It feels like it's ever changing. It's not settled. It's not settling. And um, uh, I feel like some grounding might help heal that aspect of it. And also the, the connection with the courage, energy, the motivation, the, for that, the force that, that propels everything forward and not backward. I just feel like the courage right now is, uh, especially your person is not connecting to that courage. But you know, if you ended up a situ in a situation like this, and that means that this situation is reflecting a part of you. Something is there in your energy field that's creating this chaos. So uh, perhaps you would benefit from some energy work if you believe in energy work or prayer or meditation family constellation sessions or something like that to help you uh, get out of this lukewarm waters. Okay, so this is the reading for the middle deck and let's move on now to the right side one. So if you pick the right side deck, this is going to be your reading and let's get to it. Let's see what your person would want you to know right now about what's going on with them. What would they want to tell you right now? <clears throat> the Hierophant, the Fool, and the Page of Swords. I feel like they're, that uh, you are constantly on your person's mind. Uh, they want to bring back stability into this relationship and I feel like now they're ready for a new start, but I also feel like they are being controlled by some old beliefs or some outdated thinking, outdated belief systems, uh, promises that they had made previously. And I feel like they're gonna start messaging you. They want to communicate with you and uh, bring some more clarity into the situation. Although at first these uh, communications could just be about intellectual things because the page of swords is not very much about emotions or it's not about uh, practicality. It's just about um, some intellectual conversations. Uh, I also feel like your person wants to know where you stand with regards to this relationship. Um, but I feel like they would want to tell you that they're ready for a new start, that that's what they want. They want you back in their lives. They want to give this another shot. Uh, the Hierophant card indicates, um, firstly, that they want stability here, but also as a second storyline, it indicates that your person might be a little bit too rigid about stuff, um, about their thinking, about their standards, about how they want things to pan out. Like I said, it could be promises even that they had made um, to someone. Um, could be some religious beliefs here that are at play in this, that could you know influence this relationship. So uh, let's see their current feelings for you. Let's see how they feel about you right now. How do they feel about you right now? The Eight of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. 
So I feel like something needs to be cleared up in order to find solutions to the problems. But I also feel that there's a great deal of self-sabotaging going on on behalf of your person, as indicated by the Eight of Swords. This is an energy that um, says, or the energy that the card indicates is that your person is basically blindfolding themselves. And... Um, it's really their fears that keep their their eyes shut and it's their fears and limiting beliefs that they feel paralyzed by it's really they're really doing this to themselves the sabotage thing and there might be lots of issues conflicts with you um, around these ideas and limiting beliefs that uh, you just cannot find a solution to but i feel like if you to communicate clearly and honestly the solutions might actually appear because the ace of swords it's about sudden clarity it's about this sword coming down from the clouds bringing clarity it's like chasing away the clouds so that you can see the solutions and actually a whole um world of solutions could open up for you if you two are able to be honest and open with each other but these um this five of wands card indicates that the egos are at fight uh you know, your egos maybe are very strong, both of your egos, and they get into these power struggles, who is right and who should be, whose advice should be followed, how are we going to solve this, but really these arguments absolutely lead nowhere, there's no solution at the end of the argument, there's no solution to the problem, and I feel like the solution here, as indicated by the cards, is clear and honest and open communication that might actually open up some doors to resolve this this situation. I just feel like your person is really paralyzed by something. They're paralyzed by fear or beliefs or, you know, they're doing this to themselves. They don't even realize that. So let's see what the Love Oracle cards have to say about your person. What can we find out about them? Love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. You know, they're not neutral about you. There's love here. It's just that their mind is kind of like controlling their lives right now. It's almost like love is being, um, is being pressed into the background. It's being secondary almost. Let's see another card. Or your person let's see another one that describes your person the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life um, in a way I feel like this card is like the death card from the tarot and to me it means that there's some kind of transformation going on perhaps the relationship cannot continue in the same setup that it was before and even though the cycle may be over uh, there could be something new that starts for you too so it's not like it's over forever but i feel like something needs to transform something needs to transform that also serves uh, your evolution as people okay so your evolution of consciousness as well so let's see their uh, future steps towards you Let's see their future steps towards you. The temperance. Um, the chariot. And the nine of wands. So um, I feel that your person is uh, definitely hoping for healing here between the two of you, as indicated by these two cups uh, um, drawn on the temperance card. They indicate the two hearts and the this line of energy, the, the line of light. And uh, sometimes in some instances, it's, it's water that's connecting these two cups and that indicates emotions here, that there's real love here. Um, However, the progression of this relationship really depends on whether your person can decide or um, whether there's, there's a decision made. Uh, maybe it's even, you know, the two of you have to come to some kind of an agreement 
and you cannot be headed in two different directions. And if you can find an agreement, this really could take off this relationship. You know, it could be very, very fast developments here. However, I just feel like your person is almost like lacking confidence or somehow lacking strength. The nine of ones is a card that indicates low energy levels. It's almost like on the being on the verge of giving up. It's um, so I don't know what is actually taking away their energy, but it feels like they're losing energy to something and that's going on. And I, I'm getting right now some um, self-confidence issues, standing up for themselves. Uh, it's about uh, pleasing others as well, or maybe even the opposite of that, you know, disappointing others if they really stand up for themselves. It's kind of like, what is everybody gonna think of me if I, if I do what I want to do? It's that kind of low energy here, low self-esteem is what I'm getting. However, they have lots of emotions for you. Lots of emotions for you and lots of hope for this to heal as indicated by temperance. Now, the temperance can also indicate that there's more patience needed and more time. You know, um, so let's see where is this relationship headed? Where is this relationship headed? What is the next stage in the relationship? What's the energy in the next stage of this relationship? The Four of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So um, I'm getting that there's more instability um, as indicated by the Knight of Swords. This is a character who is not very dependable. Um, someone who can be stepping into your life very suddenly and just as suddenly disappear. Um, the Four of Swords indicates uh, a time where there's going to be withdrawal and silence. Uh, it's the time to heal. Uh, maybe this is a necessary uh, time away from each other where you both can do some healing and where you can let the thoughts settle down. Um, maybe after some conflicts or maybe after some arguments or maybe after even clearing things up. Um, and this is about also realizing what's important. This is what's coming right now intuitively. Um, and um, the Knight of Swords is about not just not stable energy right now. This person is just not stable enough for them to, uh, to commit um, and just be with you, just be around you. This is the, the energy that I'm feeling. Um, let me just get a clarification for what this nine of ones is. It's, it's almost like drawing my attention back right now a little bit. So let's get some clarification for this nine of ones energy. Why is this person losing energy? Let's see what else is going on in the background about that. Let's see the sun. Hmm. This uh, is about self-esteem, confidence, success, and I feel like they're lacking that. It's, it's almost coming up as a block, the sun card. It's almost like they don't feel the sun in, in their lives. It's almost like they don't feel the vitality coming from the sun. They don't feel the support for, of the universe. And I feel like they are lacking the self-confidence. They just, it's almost like they're lacking faith that this, uh, that they could make this happen. It's not lacking faith in how your relationship is going to work out. It's more like lacking faith that they can make this happen, that they have the ability to, um, <clears throat> to really go through with this. Well, this is what I'm feeling right now from the cards. So let's check out some some oracle card energies angels of atlantis let's see what they have to say and i feel that these images also are so powerful and so healing so let's see what they have to say faith and intuition follow your heart that's what i feel uh, even for you and your person both you know, if you, if you are in a situation like this described by the cards, it means that you two have some blocks. It's not just your person because many times in relationships, the relationship itself reflects our own inner wounds, some things that we don't even know about. So that's why um, 
you might actually benefit from some energy work if you believe in energy work such as Reiki or applied kinesiology or family constellation um, I do body talk if, if you are familiar with body talk it's a wonderful consciousness based healthcare system so yeah, there's so many things out there wonderful things that that are so gentle and uh, are really able to shift um, the energy fields so that uh, you don't have to stagnate in, in a certain situation. Okay, so this is what I have for you if you pick the right side deck. And thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys and uh, I'll see you later.